expanding on the idea to visualize data using Unicode characters and queries. Now we show triangles and circles to indicate if a price has gone up, down, or stayed the same. To compare to the previous value in another record, two copies of the table are used. Hi, this is Crystal. This database has two tables. My data has two fields. One is a date and the other is currency. This data came from NASDAQ and is the date and closing price for MSFT for the first half of 2017. My symbols is some Unicode characters that you might want to use. In this lesson, we will use Unicode Decimal 9899 for a filled circle, 11205 for a down pointing triangle, and 11206 for an up pointing triangle. Now we'll make a query. From the Create ribbon, choose the Query Design button and add the My Data table. Double click the date and price from the field list to put them on the grid. Sort in descending order by date. To compare to the previous price, we need a different record in the same table. To do this, add another copy of my data to the query. Because sources must each have a unique name, the copy of my data gets underscore one appended to the end of the table name. If there was another copy, it would end with underscore two. Although it is not done here, tables can be given an alias or other name to use. The copy of the table will represent the record for yesterday or whenever the previous value was recorded. From my data underscore one, add the date and price to the grid. I press Shift F2 for the zoom box and set the font to be bigger. Field names must be unique, so new names have to be created. The date will be called PrevData and the price will be prev price. Anything before a colon is the new field name, which is also called the field alias. I best fit the columns on the grid to get a little more space. I click to select a column on one end, then shift click the column on the other end. This selects multiple columns. You can click and drag too. Now double click one of the right borders in the column header area. The next column will be a formula to calculate the difference in price. The name of the calculated field will be diff and will be mydata.price minus mydata-underscore-one.price. To make sure this is currency, wrap the expression with the ccur function. ccur is convert to currency. The last column will show the Unicode symbol corresponding to the difference. If the difference is zero, a circle will be displayed after four spaces, so it appears in the middle. If the difference is greater than zero, an up-pointing triangle will be displayed after eight spaces, so it appears on the right. Otherwise, a down-pointing triangle will be displayed on the left, indicating a decrease. Because a field name was not assigned, Access adds EXPR1, which I will change to up down. The table does not have a field for the previous state, therefore a join line cannot be used between the field lists. Criteria can link the tables. There will not be a record for every day. To correctly retrieve records from MyData underscore one for the last date before the date in MyData, DMAX can be used for criteria under the previous date. Press Ctrl F2 for the Expression Builder, which will help us with IntelliSense. DMAX returns the maximum value of an expression, which can be a field name or formula that performs a calculation. The syntax is DMAX open parenthesis, expression, comma, domain, comma, criteria. 
where expression is what you want the maximum of, domain is a table or query name, and optionally criteria limits the records to consider. The expression to look up is the value of the date. Notice that as you type, IntelliSense prompts you for parameters. The domain, which is where to get the records from, is my data. In criteria, the less than operator restricts searching to earlier dates, and pound sign delimiters around a value signal it is a date, as opposed to a string or number. In the expression builder, you can use control mouse wheel to make the text bigger or smaller. Here is the final expression. Dmax, open parenthesis, double quote mark, the date, double quote mark, comma, double quote mark, my data, double quote mark, comma, double quote mark, the date, less than, number sign, double quote mark, space, ampersand, space, my data dot the date, space, ampersand, space, double quote mark, number sign, double quote mark, close parenthesis. Now for the fun part. Let's see what we get. I'm using the datasheet view icon on my customized quick access toolbar or QAT. You can also right click in the title bar of the query or use the home ribbon. Voila! On the left is my data and on the right is some of the many things we can get from it. The first two columns show date and price. The third and fourth columns show date and price for the previous record. Diff is the difference between price. The up-down column has a down triangle if the price decreased, a circle if it stayed the same, or an up triangle if it increased. When you right-click the title bar, you can choose Save, Close, or Switch to another view. The name of this query will be Q up down. Now we'll go to the design view and modify the criteria so this will work for our friends in other countries too. Instead of concatenating the date and letting access implicitly convert it to a string, we will use the format function which returns a string how we want it. My Windows region settings use the American date format, so for me, doing the criteria this way is fine. Depending on where you are in the world, however, you may not write dates this way, and the problem is Access is expecting a date in the American format. Access also understands the ISO 8601 representation. To be more universal, the criteria can use Format, open parenthesis, double quote mark, the date, less than, double quote mark, space, ampersand, space, and then the format. And I'm just using S format right here as a placeholder. And then a close parenthesis, where S format includes the number delimiters that access needs and is double quote mark, backslash, number sign yyyy-mm-dd backslash number sign double quote mark for ISO or double quote mark backslash number sign mm backslash forward slash dd backslash forward slash yyyy backslash number sign double quote mark for American format. Any character preceded by a backslash displays as written. MM is the two-digit month number, DD is the two-digit day number, and YYYY is the four-digit year. Huh, this is not quite right. Let's get some error messages. Here's the first one. The expression you entered is missing a closing parenthesis, bracket, or vertical bar. I add a parenthesis to the end. The ISO format works for me, and it will work for you no matter where you are. I've customized my QAT to include a Save As icon. If you do not have this, 
from the file menu choose Save As, and then Save Object As, and then click the Save As button. I will call this QUPDOWN underscore ISO dash date. DMAX is a domain aggregate function and slower than using a subquery. We will now convert the criteria to a subquery to improve performance. This is not quite right, but let's see what happens. Hmm, no data. What could be wrong? We didn't need in, since only one value will be returned, so that can be removed. The problem is that my data is in two places, the subquery and the query source. The my data table in the subquery will be called A. Each field in the subquery needs to be prefixed with the alias and then a dot. Now it works! I'll save this as QUPDOWN underscore subquery. Thanks for joining me. If you like this video, please like and comment. Thanks. Through sharing, we will all get better.